Hey everyone, so in today's video, I want to do a $40 retro game challenge at a retro shop. So I'm just going to bring $40 with me, maybe a little bit extra just for tax, and let's see what I can buy with that. So I'm going to go to a retro shop in New Jersey. So, all right, so please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you everyone for watching and let's begin. All right, so now we're in the store. I went to Level 1 Games in New Jersey. Now they have different bins set up here, as you can see. And I'm gonna go through this bin first. This is the, this is, I guess, their more special Game Boy games. It costs a little bit more than $5. So I'm gonna try and keep it on the 40, so let's see what we have. You know what, I'm gonna, whatever I like, before I buy, I'm just gonna set it aside. Uh, Donkey Kong, a little expensive. We go over budget. Hey, Donkey Kong Land. It's not too bad of a price. I'm gonna put that to the side. Yeah, but let's see if it works first. Okay. Oh, you just gotta wake up. All right, here we go. Let me back a little bit. There we go. All right, so let's see. I'll give me an error. Let me clean it out real quick. All right, and let's, right, let's see how it works now. There we go. All right, looks really good. I like it. This is Donkey Kong Land. Cool. I don't. I don't have this one. So, let's see it real quick. All right. Cool. All right. So let's put that to the side. Let's check out. See what else they have. Okay. No, not not for that price. Maybe you know. Let me put it to the side. Let's see. Let's see what everything else that we have all together. Kirby was twenty dollars. Nah, bomber, bomberman. Yeah, I put bomberman to the side. And you know what? Let's let's move this tray over and let's check out this Game Boy Advance tray. Now the shop did mention that they're a little slow on they're a little low on stock right now. They don't have a lot of Game Boy games, so I put that one aside. Let's see what else. Spider Man. It's twelve ninety nine. The Metroid, it's thirty dollars, a little over budget. Twenty-five dollars. Oh uh, no. Dual Masters, okay. Ninja Turtles, fifteen dollars. Let's see. Let's see what else we have here. That one is fifteen dollars. Space Invader. All right. Let me get all of them. You know what? All right. So let's put that aside. And now. You know what? Let's see what else we're gonna try. Let's move over a little bit. Okay, this is a big box of random assortments of Game Boy, uh, Game Boy Color games, and Game Boy Advance games. So let's just go through this pile and see if there's anything that's that's good. All right. All right. Which one's this one? Beyblades? Yeah. Why not? I used to have that when I was a kid. So you know, I'll grab it. And let's see what else. Okay, no. All right, no. So one of the things I'm also doing, uh, I'm recording this later on because there's a lot of noise in the store, a lot of people talking, a lot of background noise. My camera was picking everything up. So that's the reason why it's a little bit on the quieter side. Right, let's continue. So Sims 2 pets, too bad it's not the regular Sims. I think I might've liked that. Whether Ubers, whatever you called it. <laughs> That's a lot of games that I'm not really crazy about in here, other than Beyblades. That's why everything there is around five dollars. Oh no, the golf game. This is like the other one. Interesting. No, no, no to Barbie. Let's see. I've been here before. They usually had a good selection, but I guess with uh, retro stuff coming back, all these stuff are getting hiked up in prices and everybody's buying, I guess, wherever they can. The Madden one's kind of cool. Let me put that to the side. Let's see. Okay. No, nothing crazy. That sucks. 
because I was hoping to find something cool, but um, I have some of the other stuff which is pretty, pretty good though. Let's see. Okay, and going to this. Yeah, I don't look like I'm gonna be finding much here. All right, let's see if I can find one more game here that I'd like to take. Let's see. Well, uh, you know what? Solar Solar Striker, seven dollars. You know what? Let's check this out too. All right. You know we're gonna fast forward through some of this too. Let's see if we can get a little faster. All right, so I have all the games that I want to just check out. All right, I tried this one. Of course, the analog pocket is a lot more sensitive when it comes with the cartridge, so I have to make sure it's clean before I try. Now, let's see. This one, I believe, is part of the Caribbean. Let's see how it looks. Let's see if we can go a little faster that we can get to the gameplay quickly. Okay, so that's Dead Man's Chest. All right, nice long intro. Nothing like intros you can't skip. There we go, let's do a new game. All right, you know, this, I've seen these type of games before. All right, pretty straightforward. All right, let's try another one. Okay, where are we gonna go to now? That one was $5. All right, Bomberman GB, it's a classic. Let's see, it really looks good. These games really look good. They really pop with uh, Game Boy and Game Boy Color games. I like it. All right, it's definitely a contender, $15. Now I know some of these might be overpriced. It's just the point of doing this was to do it inside of a store, not just on eBay. So $11 for Donkey Kong Land. I already tried that one. That one looked good. Uh, I tried Beyblade. They used to play this one when I was young. Of course, everything else needs to be cleaned. Let's see, clean it real quick. Okay, it's five dollars. That's definitely worth it. That's definitely on my list. Just because I used to play that a lot when I was younger. All right, let's see. Let's make sure it works right, and it's the right one that I remember. Continue. Okay. All right. V Force. Yeah, this feels like it's the right one. All right. This is, okay. There's a save file, so let's just do that. Oh yeah, this is definitely the one I used to play when I was young. Oh cool. All right. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna put this aside. All right. So let's uh, let's quit the game. All right, and let's try, that one was $5. What are we gonna try now, let's see. Let's try, all right, so I did that one, that one's $5. It's $14, it's $20 right there. So that was at $31. I have $31 right now, so that means I have about $9 left. And we're gonna try and do, keep it at sub tax for $40, because tax always gets you. So now it's just trying to figure out which is which is the last one I'm gonna pick out. Let's, let's let's figure that out now. All right, so let's check out this one, Solar Strikers. Let's see how this one looks. This one might fit in, within the budget. All right, this is kind of cool. This looks like a, a Galaga type shooter. You know, I like this. It looks really good with the screen. So you know what? I think this might be a winner which would put us right under $40 too. And that's $7, that looks about $38. So I think this is, is a pretty good haul. I think it fits within my budget. I have to pay a couple cents or something, maybe a dollar more just to, with tax. But it looks like these four are gonna be the winner. And then when I get back home, I'll uh, show it again, just that way I can see it more, you know, with, with everything. So, all right, everyone, let's go over to uh, 
to my house and let's check it out there. All right, everyone, so we are back. So here's my receipt. I was able to get these games for, what is it? $40.47, damn tax. Got me at $2.51. But subtotal came under $40, so I'm just gonna go with this was a success since I really only went over by 47 cents. I think um, I think I can cut myself some slack there. They so yeah, went to level one games. Good place, I recommend it. They have all types of stuff, Pokemon cards, uh, PS2 games, PS3 games, all types of retro stuff. Uh, everything you can think of. They're always getting in new items. When I was there, I saw them grading a uh, Game Boy game, Game Boy Color with some of the Pokemon games. So, let's just go over the games that I got. Here we are. I picked up Bomberman GB for $15. Like I said, I was just doing this for to see what I can get at the retro store. I'm sure I can find these probably cheaper online, but at least I know these are authentic and I was able to try them out. All right, uh, Solar Striker. Let's see. What else did I get? I got, here we go, Beyblades. This one was much more full of nostalgic. I played this a lot when I was a kid and I figured, you know what, let me get it again since I no longer have this. And Donkey Kong Land. This is a good game. I definitely want to play it again. I have the, I have Donkey Kong Country. So this would be a good addition to my collection. And you know what, let's, uh, Donkey Kong Land, it looks beautiful in the back of the analog. I really do like it. Yeah, this really came out good. So I'm very happy with what I got. Uh, you know what, I think I'm gonna be spending some time later today playing all this, just, uh, just having some fun. <laughs> all right, everyone. Thank you for watching. If you made it this far, you guys are awesome. Please like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, you made it this far. Thank you, and all right, everyone, have a good one.